<clears throat> What's going on guys? It's Tristan here today. So I am doing a um awesome tutorial for imview.com and Adobe Photoshop Adobe Photoshop CS6. Um I may have some tongue twisters. I'm very sorry in advance for my voice. I am sick right now. Um but I decided to do this do this uh tutorial for imview imview. And what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to make an animated icon. It is quick, easy, and fast. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is exit this out. Don't save. And then I'm going to reopen it. So you go to File, Open. And you want to find your icon. open up your icon and then you want to go to the picture that you want to do today we'll be working with a shirt by Cihan uh, C-I-H-A-N um, I will not be using this obviously as an icon because it's not my shirt but um, I'm just doing this for the tutorial for you guys because I haven't made anything new and I had this picture on my desktop on hand so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're on your move tool and you want to go ahead and drag this over. As you guys saw the layer, you just click the layer and drag it down to separate it. Go ahead and make sure that your icon is in the right spot under the gloss and whatnot. Then you want to click Show Transform Controls right up here. And you'll see this little center piece. You want to click that center piece and drag it and just drop it about right in the middle of your icon. Now right up here for the width, you want to put 14. For the height, you want to put 14 as well. And then you want to click the move tool again and click apply. Then you want to unclick show transform controls. And then you want to put your icon where you want it to first start. On a Mac you can press control to move it yourself. <laughs> without the auto select getting in your way. No, this is really important. For CS6 users, your animation area is called the timeline. In order to open that, you go to Window, Timeline. If you're using CS5 or CS4, any older version of Photoshop, you're going to go to Window and click Animation. You're going to have your animation there. But for CS6 users, you need to click Timeline. <coughs> now this is also important. Down here for CS6 users, yours will be automatically put on Create Video Timeline or whatever you last use. You want to put in on Create Frame Animation. Uh, so that's also important. And then what you want to do is just go ahead and click this Create Frame Animation and your icon will be right there. Now what you want to do next is click the duplicate tool on the timeline. As you guys can see it duplicated it. Now what you want to do next is come back over here and move your icon which keeps moving itself. You want to move your icon to where you want it to finish. That's right, you want to click it where you want to finish it, where you want it to end. And this is what's so wonderful about Photoshop is what you guys are about to learn and see. Now what you guys want to do next is you want to click this step tool. You click that and you click how many frames you want. I'm just going to go ahead and use five for this tutorial. You click OK. And look at that. It did all the frames for you. Now here's another important part. On Mac users you press command and you highlight all these. Um, I don't really know on PC what you guys use, but you want to highlight all of these. And then you, we're going to go with 0.5 seconds. And then you click play, and there's your icon. <clears throat> and then you can add your uh, uh, name whenever you like as well. Um, now, when you want to save it though, this is also very, very important. You go to File, Save for Web. On CS6, you go to File, Save for Web. I believe on CS5 and CS4, you have something similar 
as safe for web. I don't know if yours says safe for web or not, uh, but it's something similar to that. And then you want to save it. You click save, and it saves as a GIF automatically. You save where you want it, and then upload it onto IMVU. So there were a few important steps to remember. So uh, please watch this tutorial carefully, or hopefully you did watch it carefully. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'm sorry that I'm sick right now. But I'm going to go ahead and upload this video to see if it helps anyone. Uh, I'll be making a newer version later on when I feel better. But this is a very quick and easy way to make an icon, uh, animated icon for IMVU or IMVU. So I wanted to go ahead and make this tutorial and get it up. So I love you guys, and I will see you later. Peace.